Rappin' with Reef Bum is sponsored by Polo Reef and Champion Lighting and Supply. So I asked the uh, the audience a question. I, I asked the uh, the question of what do you feed your corals? And um, Paul Great Bearded Reef came up with this answer. Now this was going to be a question of mine. You know, this was uh, something that um, I used to say all the time back in the day that uh, I don't feed anything to my corals. I just uh, you know let my fish poop do the uh, do the job. And uh, the more fish you have, the better. Is uh, is that a valid? thing to say these days well if you have a big population of fish will the fish poop be enough or uh will that be deficient in uh, nutrition i mean i you know it's it's hard to answer that question i guess because you know i'm sure there's no scientific studies that have been done in terms of whether or not a tank that uh, relies solely on fish poop for coral nutrition is more successful versus a tank that's uh using some live feeds or some other type of uh coral fish food but what, what do you guys think on the panel there about uh, this uh, theory that fish poop is enough. I'm about to be stupid, but uh, go, go, go ahead. I would just counter that with a question. Would you eat poop? <laughs> well, <laughs> what is well, poop? Poop is waste. The if fish I have already probably, extracted much of the I useful do. nutrition from the, from what they ate. And now it's not, a, it's not as it's nutritionally bereft for the corals. So it's we a pass through. It's yeah, it's not as it's not as nutritious because it's already passed through an animal's gut and uh, and been digested in its literal waste. And also, uh, there are microbes sometimes sometimes in fish waste that can actually be harmful to corals. So that's unavoidable because fish are just going to poop in the tank. But to rely on that as a sole source of coral food, uh, I, I mean. There could be instances, uh, some corals, some types of fish, depending on their diet, things like that, where it may be beneficial, but I haven't seen any um, <laughs> papers looking fish into poop this. It's economical, oh, though. That one's good. It, <laughs> yeah, I it like depends, that. It depends what you feed them. That's what I would like to say. I mean, what goes yeah. out, what goes in, what goes out. And humans, what we eat sometimes goes out good and sometimes it doesn't. Right? So. Uh, um, <laughs> Dong, all right, Dong, you got yeah, some, I, I, I think that's a that's a very good, interesting question about the fish poop. So uh, there is a, a different aspect of what come out from a fish, especially saltwater fish, and what come out from a uh, maybe like an animal, because a fish has a really short digesting uh, tract. <clears throat> So basically, uh, the uh, I saw some scientific papers indicating that actually fish poop actually quite nutritious. For the, for the coral, not for human. <laughs> so uh, what happened is, uh, is basically uh, they 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 very similar to the nutritional profile as the fish palate or or whatever frozen food you feed to the fish, because the fish actually is a very poor nutrient extractor. Hmm. The, uh, what the fish poop actually do is by grinding all these uh, pellets, dry food, frozen food into micro powders. So you actually uh, allow the coral be able to intake those uh, particles because they're small enough. Uh, there's uh, uh, papers uh, about in the ocean uh, that about uh, how important about the fish uh, pooping and peeing to fertilize the coral and try to answer that uh, Darwin, what was that? Uh, I, I forget that word. Uh, so basically why the, the new, uh, in the ocean the nutrition is so poor but then coral grows so well, but it, uh, mm -hmm. but in reality, that on the reef, the nutrition is not poor at all. In the open ocean, where where a shamu swim, yeah, that, that that is probably pretty poor. But on the coral reef, the nutrition level is really rich. But they are uh, encapsulated form instead of like uh, free floating phosphate and nitrate. So when they test the phosphate and nitrate, they always low to non-existence, but 
uh, the nutrition is packed into these little particles of fish poops and fish peas. And fish peas basically just like a liquid food that uh, fertilizing the coral. So as um, uh, the, the, I think there is a, a pretty good consensus about the scientific literature is about coral. Basically, they don't really dis, uh, differentiate or what, whatever it is. It's just whatever fit in their mouth. So, um, so I the remember garbage what, feeder, is that what you're saying, Don? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, anything. They just take in anything. So uh, I remember there is a paper describing on the coral reef how the coral get the nutrition. And yeah, is that a group of fish fly by and then just running, running down poops and peas. And but then come out with another interesting uh, hypothesis is that uh, the coral are feeding on uh, occasionally. It's not constantly. For example, it's not like we dose phosphate and nitrate to keep a certain level. That doesn't work. That that's not coral. That's what uh, that is not what coral are get used to be fit to, to be fat. Coral are used to to be a cloud of fish fly by, boom, is a huge amount of uh, thing dumb dumb down on them, and then the water is very clean again, and then comes another rainstorm of peas and poops, and that is how the coral get used to and take advantage of that uh, to eat that. But of course, the bacteria is one of the really really the major major life food that actually coral takes in. I think I think one of the interesting things bringing up the last question is. Well, you're, you're, you're feeding your corals. You're just feeding them what you're feeding your fish. That, that interaction, I think, is, cannot be really ignored there. What you're feeding your fish is entering your tank. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on what fish you're doing, you know, its, it's intestinal system could be extremely long, like a vegetarian, like a tang, or it should be very short, like a grouper, a big cardiac stomach. So, so there's all kinds of different microbes that can and will be shed from the feces of those different animals and and they're also leftover feed and and, and their other exudates um that there's a few i wish i had the specific video in front of me i'll i'll, I'll maybe share it in the, but i know there's there was one comparative study i'd love to do in an aquaculture setting where they were doing different populations i don't quote me i think powder brown tangs and it was ones that were feeding predominantly on a detritivore diet versus ones that were going full vegetarian. And, and what was the microbes that were coming out of their feces were wildly different. And, mm -hmm. and the microbes were not necessarily somewhere, you know, associated with beneficial populations in corals, others maybe not so much. So, so that, that interaction between uh, fish diet um, is, is very, I, I, it, that, that, that really can't be ignored especially um, in the Philippines, I did a little bit of training and they, they take this kind of to crazy anecdotal levels where they will stock tilapia in their vaname shrimp ponds beforehand because they, they figured this out later scientifically that the, the tilapia were shedding a bacteria that was kicking Vibrio's butt. Um, and Vibrio will co cost them their shirts with a shrimp harvest, especially if it gets really hot. So there are definitely different ways to, to, to understand this, observe it, and strategize um, um, with it for sure.